Hello and welcome back everyone It is time for our year 2 science lesson Today we are going to look into unit 7 Electricity And the topic we are going to learn today is Identifying the electrical component So without wasting much time Let's get to it Let's go To start our lesson, let's refer to science textbook page 73. In page 73, you may find this picture. Alright, let us read this together. Are you ready? Let's do it. Wow, those colorful flashing lights are so beautiful. Father, how does the carousel move? Electricity enables the bulbs to light up and the carousel to move. The question here is, what will the situation at this fun fair be if there is no electricity? Before I give you the answer for this question, let us study the picture first. This family are at the fun fair. Yes, very good. Have you been to a fun fair before? If you have, that's good for you. Well, at fun fair, there are so many fun things that we can do. One of it is the carousel. Right, the carousel. In this picture, can you find where is the carousel? Yes, this one. Alright. The one with the horses and the bulbs. Alright. Here, the father said, electricity enables the bulb. Here's the bulb. And the carousel to move. Right. So, if you want to see how a carousel move, I will show it. To you right now so now you have the idea how a carousel move isn't it all right back to our question here what will the situation at this fun fair be if there is no electricity do you know the answer yes very simple isn't it if there are no electricity these bobs these bobs here on the carousel and the bulbs at the back here will not light up all right it's totally dark all right and after that what happened to the carousel it won't move isn't it because the carousel also need electricity to move something will happen to you in your house when there are no electricity the bulb will not light up what happened to the tv yes it won't work the fridge also won't work what else the radio won't work all right why is this happen simple isn't it because these appliances need electricity to work without electricity it won't work next let us discuss the activity in page 74 in this activity we will identify the electrical components the first one is dry cell or some of you might call it battery isn't it it's actually dry cell number two bulb and number three switch so in this activity we will identify these three electrical components dry cell bulb and switch and for your information we can build an electrical circuit by using these electrical components Hmm, what does it mean by electrical circuit? Don't worry, I will show it to you. Too bad we cannot do this activity together. But I will try my best to help you to understand how to build an electrical circuit. Things we need are dry cell, bulbs, and switch. Very good. And there are a few things also uh, we have to prepare with. The first one is dry cell holder yes the black object here to hold the dry cell and bulb holder this one of course to hold the bulb the first step is the dry cell should be installed in a dry cell holder and connected to the correct terminals right look at this picture this is the dry cell and it is installed in a dry cell holder here the correct terminal here it means the positive terminals 
and the negative terminal here right so it should be placed in the correct terminals right and then um, the bulb should be fastened onto the bulb holder correctly as you can see here in this picture the bulb should be fastened in the bulb holder correctly what else do we need yes the wire should be connected to every component correctly which one is the wire yes the red and the black one connecting wires right we might have this in school all right but for now i will show you from this picture only too bad isn't it but it's okay stick with me all right the red one for the positive terminal the black one should be on the negative terminal i have a question for you why do we need wire can you answer that yes good wire is used to connect each electrical components into a complete circuit so without wire all of these electrical components are not connected so the circuit are not completed all right so a complete circuit will look like this when the switch is closed the bulb will light up you see the switch is closed right so this terminal the positive terminal and the negative terminal will connect it and this whole circuit are completed okay it is completed so what will happen the electricity from the dry cell will light up the bulb because the circuit is completed so the electricity from the dry cell light up the bulbs and can you answer what will happen if we open the switch i mean if we lift up this switch here we call it open all right so now it's closed the light the bulb will light up and what will happen if we open the switch what will happen is the circuit completed give me your answer in the comment section below right now i will explain to you what happened when an electrical circuit is completed i want you to look closely at this switch the switch here and this meter here and the bulb all right look closely at these three objects close the electricity flow and the bulb slide up did you get it i will play it one more time close electricity flow and the bulb light up here all right what happened here is uh, this circuit gets the electricity from the dry cell here this is the dry cell and the electricity move through the connecting wire and to the switch and whenever the switch is closed like this the electricity move right as you can see the meter here is also moving whenever the electricity uh, go through it and finally the bulbs will light up if you disconnected this connecting wire the, the circuit will not completed so what happened to the bulb it will not light up because it doesn't have electricity All right simple isn't it next let's move on to your science year 2 activity book and turn to page 45 and 46 in page 45 we have this exercise all right let us read the instruction first observe the picture given color the hidden electrical components the keyword here is color the hidden electrical components do you still remember what are the electrical components that we have learned just now there are three isn't it dry cell bulb and switch very good so how many electrical components that you should color 
Yes, exactly. There are only three electrical components. Dry cell, bulb, and switch. So you have to look these three electrical components in the picture here and just color those three components. Other than that, you don't have to color it. Alright? Did you get it? So, let's move on to our next activity. You may find this activity in your science activity book, page 46. Alright, let us read the instruction first. Number one, label the electrical components in the circuit below. So, this is the circuit. What should you do here? Yes, just label it or just name it. You see here? What is this component? So, you write down the name. You may refer to your textbook page 74 right and the second one this component and the third one this component so these three electrical components there are three just now isn't it all right now number two let's read the instruction tick the correct answers so you have to tick either this picture or this picture all right should be fastened on what is this bulb so a bulb should be fastened on to a bulb holder or dry cell holder b dry cell should be installed in bulb holder or dry cell holder think about it well that's about it for today's lesson i hope you learned something from this video and i see you in the next lesson in our next video Take care, stay safe and bye-bye.